Welcome back, everybody. Yes, yes. There's a few clouds in the sky, and the sun's bright. All right, I gave up on the weed eater, and my mom and I went to Lowe's, and of course went in debt a little bit more and charged a Troy built, built for life, weed eater. It's a straight shaft gas trimmer, two cycle. Uh, 25 cc lightweight two cycle engine prime flip and go system for easy starting dual line bump head with 0 0.095 line for precise cutting two year limited warranty they're usually on the third years when they go out uh, as you can see right there TB 35 EC and uh, yeah that's pretty much what it looks like right there and I don't know if I'm going to be using this head with her or not, but most definitely that's what I'm going to be using. So, here the bad boy is. My neighbor mowing the yard, his yard. The bump and go line, dual head, straight shaft. Got a little hanger deal here, which it won't be hanging, it's going to be working. Let me get this uh, bag here open, and uh, let me show you the weeder first. Oh God, this thing's heavy. There you go, Troy built two cycle TB 35BC jump start. It looks identical to the headache I had, don't it? Let's be the jump start. Oh, I know. They got a little machine at Lowe's also. I don't know how much they are, but it slides up in here, if I'm not mistaken. I think I can show that pretty good. But it slides up in there that jump starts the weed eater. Pretty neat. They're pretty much the same system as I got. And, uh, yeah. So, hope it lasts longer than the other. But uh, let me get this bag open and I will show y'all that. So uh, stay tuned. I'm going to keep the camera rolling. But I'm going to cut it right here. So all that trash is picked up on both sides of the trailer, okay? Uh, Alright, folks, I am back here. This is the other head that comes with it. Aero, Aero, Aero Flex Glider. Sounds be pretty neat, but I don't know. I guess I'm gonna probably try it. Look at that there. This is the head for it. Apparently you just line your things up in there and snap this back on. Put it back on your weed ear. The big old book for insulation. And here's the little blades and stuff. Let this slide up in this part here, which I did get some of these. I told myself I wasn't going to use them, but I, I, I'm going to try it, you know. I just got rid of grass. I'm going to do the grass first and then around the fence last. But I get, did get more weedier twine. Got the uh, 0 point, or 0.095 string for it, so... Let me get all this assembled and I will be right back with y'all. Alright, I had to take a little break here. This baby runs good, folks. It runs good. You can see it unused there a little bit. I did put the other head on there once I figured out how. Now, folks, I just want to say I think it's a little bit better. Now I have to worry about the pump, bump and go head and stuff, but they are wearing a little bit. But they are holding up pretty good. So I'm gonna continue trying. I don't really see it there, but kind of picked up and moved my thing around. I moved it over there, but hung my mom's yard sale rack up on the wall there. Got a decent wet pallet. And I got that and I gotta clean up this mess here and uh yeah. I wish me luck. Got a long ways to go, but I think I can get there. See y'all in a few. Only thing I hate about this is this piece here 
you have to unsnap it. Okay, this piece here unsnaps and you've got this bolt right here. You have to undo this bolt and take this nut deal here, it's a shaft nut, off and put it back on this head here. Goes right in there in order to use this head again. That's the only thing I hate about it. I wish they would uh, have an extra nut and shaft nut or a boat and shaft nut. Here, I'll take it out here in a minute and show you. All right, got the nut loose here so I can unscrew it. Well, these are left-handed threads. So that means when you turn it to tighten, you actually loosen these because they're left-handed threads instead of right-handed. I ain't getting into the thread details, folks. But you got this little boat here. And then this here is a shaft. Yeah, see, it just fell out. I call it a shaft nut. So, yeah. Your boat screws in that, and that screws onto the shaft that's on the bottom of the weeder here. So, yeah. All right, let me get this back together, and I'll be right back. Sorry folks, but here's what it looks like when it's back together. You gotta push that shaft. What I do is just do like that and push down. And then you put this housing and stuff back on and you screw this to the left like you wanna loosen it to tighten it up. I was gonna show all this, but my mom left with my tripod and the other camera, so I'm using my cell phone. But uh that's pretty much all it is to this. And this part here, make sure you take this bolt and just stick it right there and snap this back down on here. Just like that. That way it'll keep all these things in place when you go to store it. Um, this piece here fell off the bottom. That goes on like that. And this part is to this piece like that right there I believe I hope I have to look and see real quick all right now this tricky part because you really don't want to turn your weeder upside down but yeah all right I told y'all wrong see this little notch deal right here and you see right here there's a little notch It slides on like that, and you got to. Uh, don't know if y'all can see. I can't see my phone if I move out of the sun and can't see. I know y'all can't see, but maybe y'all can see that. These two notches line up. Put a screwdriver in there, and that holds this shaft in place where you can tighten that head up. But hold on this second, we'll screw it back on. Alright, folks, I am so sorry. The rest of this footage and stuff has been lost. I looked everywhere for it on my computer. Can't find it. So, yeah. Um, thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, share me with your friends. And I will catch y'all on the next vlog, folks. So sorry about the loss of the footage. Catch you later. Bye.